Hello and welcome to this tutorial for the board game Concept. Officially this game should be played in teams of two people. There's no limit to how many teams there can be, but you could also just have fun with it and play it only with one other friend. Here's how it goes. You are going to keep playing until there are no more tokens left of these double light bulbs. As soon as the supply of this is empty, the game is over. Whoever has the most points wins the game. The double light bulb counts as two points. A single light bulb counts as one point. You get a double light bulb if you guess the answer. You get a single light bulb if you were the person to give that one clue that made someone guess the answer. But again, as soon as the supply of double light bulbs is empty, the game ends. If you have the most points, you are the winner. Before I explain how you play it, I would like to mention that it's possible to just have fun with this game and not use these light bulb tokens. In that case, you're not playing for points, you just keep going until you don't want to play anymore. And playing it like this also makes it possible to do it as a two player game. But how do you play the game? What do you do when it's your turn? When it's your team's turn, you can take the top card from the deck. You can look at it, but the other teams aren't allowed to see. Each card has nine things to choose from. And it's up to you which one you pick. There is no rule for it, just choose the one thing from the card that you like the most. Some topics are labeled as easy, medium and some are hard. Either way, it's up to you and your teammates. When you've made your choice, you start using the game board to give clues without speaking. As soon as someone guesses the clue, your turn is over and the next team goes. The person who guessed the answer gets the double light bulb, the person who gave the definitive clue gets a single light bulb. And that already brings us to the last thing to explain. How do you use this board? How do you give clues? As I said, you're not allowed to speak. If the other players ask you a question to which the answer is yes, then that's the only word you're allowed to speak. You can't say no and definitely not anything else. You may only say yes if that's the right answer to a question. And for the rest, you use this board. Let me pick an example. Let's pretend one of the choices on the card was Superman. I pick that one, Superman. I keep the card with me for now, face down on the table. And of course I made this choice together with my teammate. Now, you have these items right here to use. There are these exclamation marks, some little cubes in those same colors. There are green cubes that I keep separately. And there's the green question mark that's the most important one. It's up to you which one of these you want to place first. That's up to you. But the green question mark is the most important one because this is used to indicate what the subject actually is. We had Superman as an example. Now, Superman is a comic book. This icon of a book represents liter literature. It's drawings and you have this icon for drawings. Superman is a film and a TV series. We've got this camera and this TV for that. But in the essence, Superman is a person. And that's why this green question mark should go here on one of these icons. This is how you silently tell the players who have to get guess the answer that the answer will be person. Superman is a man, so I place the green question mark on the blue icon of the male. Now everyone understands, we're looking for a person. 
And now I'm going to use the green cubes to elaborate what kind of person Superman is. For example, we have two icons here to represent real or fictional. Superman isn't real, so I'll place a cube on this icon here. If I want to emphasize he's very much not real, I am allowed to place more than one cube on the same icon. It's up to you. Superman is also a hero, which is a positive thing, so I'll place a cube on this smiley face icon. There's an icon over here of a plane that represents an aircraft, but also flying. Superman can fly, so... I'll put another cube here. We now already have these clues on the board. We're looking for a man who is fictional, good, and is connected to flight in some way. We've also got colors here on this side. I could mark blue, red, and yellow, Superman's costume. This is how you use the question mark and the cubes. And it's possible this is enough. You don't have to use everything. In fact, the more clues you give, the harder it might be for the others to guess the answer. Too much choice. But, if you do want to use the other items to give out clues, here's how that goes. You use the question uh, mark to indicate the main category. You use the exclamation marks to indicate a sub-category. It's up to you which color you want to use. There are no rules for which color should be used for what. But if you take the yellow question mark, you should also use the yellow cubes to connect your clues. For example, like I've said, Superman is also a film. So I place this yellow marker on the camera that represents movies. The film had some fighting, so I'll place a yellow cube on these swords here. The film had some romance in it, so I'll put another yellow cube on the heart. The film was also fictional, of course, so another yellow cube on the icon for fiction. And I could put another exclamation mark, the red one on the book, to let everyone know this man we're looking for can also be found in literature. It's all up to you what to use. But this is what the exclamation marks are for. The green question mark remains on the icon of the man, so no matter how deep you go, the players will always understand the answer is a man. A fictional man that can be found in film and literature. The man has the colors blue, red and yellow. Sooner or later, someone from another team will yell out, Superman! And then you're done. That person gets two points. You place the card you used on the bottom of the deck. And now it's another team's turn. That's it. This is how you play Concept. Don't forget that you don't have to play for points if you don't want to. If you're having fun with it, forget the points and just play for as long as you like. I hope you feel like you understand this game and that you'll enjoy it. Thank you for watching, feel free to leave a comment and see you for the next one.